Technical meetings that are driven by slide decks are bound to be complete disasters. And the reasons for that are many. Number one, slide decks make you a lazy communicator. A lot of people rely on just reading whatever they have put in their slide deck instead of communicating the essential and important ideas. And meetings should not necessarily be sessions where people just sit down and listen to you talk about something. Meetings should in fact be discussions for them to be way more productive. Number two, slide decks put a rigid format for meetings that forces you to literally go through the entire deck before you open up the floor for questions or having have a conversation with others. This forces everyone else to just completely zone out and wait for you until you finish whatever you have to say before they can actually interject and, you know, share their opinions and thoughts with you. Now, the alternative is way more interesting. Draft a design document where you put in all your ideas, your thoughts, the nuances, the context, the history, the diagrams, whatever you want to share with your audience and give everyone access to this design document 24 to 48 hours prior to that and ask for comments. Let everybody read it at their own time, share asynchronously their feedback, and then in the meeting, discuss the points of contention, discuss the points that you don't align on, discuss the disagreements, and try to come to consensus on how you need to move forward on that particular topic of interest. Now, how you structure such a document is as important as its content. A lot of people are way too verbose unnecessarily in you know, how they write sentences and how they write prose and what they include in that document. That document should include the bare minimum and bare essentials. Just forget everything you learned in school and just focus on the following. Number one, provide an executive summary or a too long didn't read, uh, you know, summary of whatever this document is all about. That should be at the top of your doc. Number two, include the context or history or how in general you got to the point where you are today. Why is this even a point of discussion and why are you doing the design that you are doing? Number three, include any references, any uh, reading material that is necessary, that is a prerequisite before diving into this topic of discussion. Number four, include a survey of what's out there, a listing of all of the different solutions that exist for a certain problem before you dive into the customized solution that you are bringing into the team. And number five, include your design, which should be composed of a high level design probably use diagrams because visual elements are great to co communicate ideas that are abstract and complex. Then include uh, open questions that are related to this design, include the risks, include questions about tolerances, include what has been considered but dismissed, include what should be considered a little bit further down the line, include what are the short-term, medium-term, and long-term objectives, add to the document the implementation process, which is number six, how are you going to actually implement this design, include also the risks that are associated with whatever, you know, uh, design you're trying to introduce or how you're going to be approaching the solution. And lastly, include conclusions and actionable next steps. And obviously not every meeting is around uh, solutioning for a certain problem or create coming up with a new design. A lot of the meetings are related to operational uh, concerns, operational overheads, support issues, or other problems. But I'm pretty sure you can use whatever I shared with you right now to cherry pick whatever is relevant for your particular case. Let your documentation drive your calls. And lastly, if you've reached consensus using just this document, cancel this meeting. Good luck.